Welcome back to AMD Tuition. In this video, we will be going over some of the hardest 6 mark GCSE physics questions. The first 6 mark question says, The diagram shows the structure of a vacuum flask. A vacuum flask is designed to reduce the rate of energy transfer by heating processes. Describe how the design of a vacuum flask keeps liquid inside hot. And to achieve 5 to 6 marks for this question, you need a detailed explanation of at least two features or a simple statement relating reduction in energy transfer to all four features. The mark scheme has split the features into two, the plastic cap and the glass container. For the plastic cap, it wants you to say that the plastic is a poor conductor. It stops convection currents forming at the top of the flask, so stopping energy transfer by convection. Also that molecules or particles evaporating from the hot liquid cannot move into the surrounding air, so stops energy transfer by evaporation. And finally on the plastic cap, I want you to say that plastic cap reduces or stops energy transfer by conduction or convection or evaporation. For the glass container, it wants you to state that the glass is a poor conductor, so reducing energy transfer by conduction. And secondly, that the glass reduces or it stops energy transfer by conduction. And if you explain all of these points in a coherent and a scientific manner, I'm sure you'll get all six marks for this question. The next question states that the graph shows how the vertical velocity of a parachutist changes from the moment the parachutist jumps from the aircraft until landing on the ground. Using the idea of forces, explain why the parachutist reaches a terminal velocity and why opening the parachute reduces the terminal velocity. To get 5 to 6 marks for this question, you need a clear and detailed explanation as to why the parachutist reaches terminal velocity and also a reasoned argument for the open parachute producing a lower speed. So in terms of examples of the physics points made in response to the explanation of the first terminal velocity, you could have put on leaving the plane the only force acting is weight, so the downwards force. As the parachutist falls, air resistance acts, the upwards force. And then to bring these two points together, you could have said that weight is greater than air resistance or even the resultant force is downwards. And therefore the parachutist accelerates. Next, you should go on to explain how as velocity increases, so does air resistance. And the terminal velocity is reached when the air resistance equals the weight. That's probably the most important point because it brings everything together. Now to explain the second lower terminal velocity, first you could have said that opening the parachute increases the surface area. Opening the parachute increases air resistance. Air resistance is greater than weight. Therefore, the resultant force acts upwards, or you could have also said in the opposite direction to motion. The parachutist therefore decelerates or slows down. The lower velocity means a reduced air resistance, and air resistance and weights become equal, but at a lower terminal velocity. That's everything you could have put for this six month question. In this next question, some students want to build an electromagnet. The students have the equipment shown below. Describe how the students could build an electromagnet. Include in your answer how the students should vary and test the strength of the electromagnet for six marks. To get five to six marks for this question, you need a description of how the electromagnet is made, how the electromagnet can be varied, and how the electromagnet can be tested. So in terms of how it can be made, you should wrap the wire around the nail, connect the wire to the power supply with connecting leads and crocodile clips, and switch on the power supply. For how to strengthen the electromagnet, you can change the number of turns on the coil, change the current through the coil, change the separation of the turns. For details of how to test the electromagnet, you can suspend paper clips from the electromagnet. The more paper clips suspended, the stronger the electromagnet is. Clamp the electromagnet at different distances from the paper clips. The further the distance which the paper clips can be attracted, the stronger the electromagnet is. Test before and after making alterations to change the strength. Compare the results from before and after making the alterations and use demagnetized paper clips. If you find any of this useful, I'm very confident you'll find the future and past videos very useful as well, so make sure you subscribe. Also like the video if you'd like to see us continue making videos like this, and as usual, the link is in the video description to book a free taster lesson with our team. Thanks for watching.